Hello YouTube, it's Rob here. Good morning. Sorry, excuse my messy hair. I've been up quite early this morning just trying to get some beers um, bottled up and kegged up. So I've got the Christmas beer here for work. So I'm going to take it. It's a chocolate stout. Um, the chocolate orange stout I tried the other week it didn't turn out very well. It's a bit cloyy. Um, I didn't use anywhere near enough oranges and then I went back with some vodka -y, orangey stuff and bleh, the end result, not good. Um, I think a lot of it went down the sink and I don't... Well, it's annoying, but it wasn't for drinking particularly. I could have got through it, but if you can't enjoy it, there's no point, is there? So anyway, this is take two. I just thought I'd show you this, which is a, a semen sample. No, it's not really. Um, it's a... It was kind of a... It's an orange oil honey water mix and I'm going to explain really why we're going to use this. So here's a pack of chocolate orange. Yeah. And on the back of most chocolate orange, when you read it, it's got various ingredients and the ingredients normally are sugar, cocoa mass, cocoa butter, and you've got this thing called an emulsifier and it's normally soy, soya based something or other. And, and orange oil, okay? So orange oil goes into Terry's chocolate orange, I know that for a fact. It also goes into any, or the majority of um, chocolate, uh, orange chocolate. So I thought orange oil, right, good, good, good. Let's get some pure orange oil, which is there. It's knockout stuff. I accidentally, well, I didn't say accidentally, I just tried it neat. Um, my lips were burning. I had to get out of bed because I was like, oh my God. Um, I had to take some antacids as well and uh, I had to wash my lips with shampoo. So don't do this neat, it's well, sonically strong. A few drops, never neat. So what we need to do, people say, well, oil floats on water, and it does, and oil floats on beer, and it will do. Um, within alcohol, you need quite a lot of uh, alcohol to get it to actually absorb, um, and that's what the emulsifier does. An emulsifier basically st allows the oil and the water to mix together. So nature has luckily provided us with something that's brew-friendly, beer-friendly, which is honey, okay? Honey, if mixed with this and then diluted with water, it just ends up dispersing the orange nicely in liquid, uh, which is then great for priming with. So I'll show you how I did it, and um, I don't know the results yet, but basically um, I went for 19 drops of this, odd number, I don't know why, I was just kept going. Um, 19 drops of that, three teaspoons of honey, and then I topped up the measuring jug here up to 100 uh, mil. I've only used about 50 because I've only um, primed some bottles. I've not done the main keg for work. That's going to just go in as a chocolate stout. But the rest are going to be a chocolate orange stout. So I've bottled them all up here. I'll show you. Change the scenery. So uh, this is damson gin, by the way, for the neighbours damsons. It is woo. It tastes like um, cough medicine, but like in a nice way, like Sudafed. Um, so here's a bottle here. This is um, obviously just been bottled. It's it's still um, very, very condensated because it's nice and cold. I did cold crash the stout. You don't need to, um, but I wanted to get some of the yeast to the bottom as best I could and some of the nibs that were floating about, the chocolate nibs, cocoa nibs. So um, yeah, there we go. But I've written 2.5 on there. Um, there's 2.5 on that one, which means I've done two and a half mil of that concoction, that mixture there into it and I used a children's like um, pipette thing you know that comes with cowpole uh, so we've got quite a few of those knocking around you can get them from the pharmacy if you want that one's got five mil okay and again bigger bottles and then we've got smaller bottles again with two and a half mil uh, some have got five mil and then this one here 15 mil okay I don't have a clue what the dilution needs to be. Um, it may even be that 15 is not good enough, but I'll wait till they're all done in a few weeks time, you know, another month or so. I'll crack one open and uh, work through each of those and work out what the best concentration is. And then I'll put that in the comments. So, um, you know, what my taste preferences were kind of for the whole thing. One point about making the chocolate stout with the cocoa nibs. So you roast the cocoa nibs and you put them in. It's, uh, it's very nice actually. It gives it a real nice chocolatey flavor. You do have to offset with some um, what do you call it? Vanilla pods. Now I have tried this vanilla, many vanilla pods in a vodka before and it, I wasn't too happy with it. What I found in the shops was this, which is just Dr. Dr. Erk. And um, it's vanilla extract, but it's natural vanilla extract. It's not actually extracted using alcohol from what I can tell. 
I have been on the website as well. There's no preservatives in it. And it's just simply inverted sugar syrup, glucose syrup, water and vanilla extract. So it tastes great. From what I've tasted so far, I don't think that's caused me any problems at all using that. I'm really puffy this morning. Not my best look, is it? Um, so yeah, that's that. Just a few rambles really about making a chocolate stout. And um, yeah, other than that, all good. So I'll, I'll leave you be and um, yeah, take care. Bye bye.